I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. Let's play some free games. There will be a link for every game I play in the description below. Okay, so first game is called Candles. Uh, I'm not really sure much about this game. Let's keep going. I don't like that I can see my mouse on the screen. That's gonna be a problem. Um, from what I read about this game, you need to light candles or something? <laughs> That's why it's called candles. Oh, it went away. Alright. Yeah, you have to light candles in the house before the monsters get you. Oh, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Ah! <gasps> Where did I go? Let's try this again. There we go. That was so annoying. What the heck? Who built this? Rocky ass ledge? Could they make the words any smaller? Uh, while you've been away, your basement generator must have been out of fuel. This... I can't read. Thus your house have have been overrun with the dark loving night imps that scour these parts of the coastline. As you know, they usually live off fish and what they can find in the forest, but they are extremely territorial, so I'm afraid they won't give up their newfound home easily. You have to be you have to carefully go through each room lighting candles to scare the imps away and finally make your way to the basement to refuel the generator. With the electricity and main lights back on, the imps will surely have you in your house and leave you in your house in peace. Sincerely, Mr. Postman. Uh, P.S. You won't be getting any mail before you've gotten rid of your little infestation. Okay. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. It's dark. Where's the Where's the candle? All right. Whoo. Okay. So the point of this game is to light all the candles in the house. I can do that. Seems pretty easy enough. Okay, hold on. Ha! Ah, I got you. I got you. I got you. This freaking chair. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, this one's already on. Why is this already on? Oh my god. That just scared the crap out of me. How am I gonna get in this room? I can't close the door. Is he gonna come out? Oh, he can't because of the light. Good thing. Alright. I see. I think I see a candle right there. Go for it. This isn't so bad. Um, I, I don't know about this, guys. I don't know if I see anything. Go! Oh my god. My heart is like pounding. Okay. Is there anything else in here? No. Oh, I don't want to go up these dark stairs. Run! Oh, it's closed. And... Door... Go! I did it! I did it, I did it, I did it. Ah, there it is. Now I can get to the cellar. I got a key. I'm making progress. All right. Where's the cellar, though? <gasps> Why? Why is that off? Who turned that off? Can the lights go out after a while?
I can't get in there because that guy's there. What the heck do I do? Okay, okay. I'm doing good. Oh, that must be the cellar, I'm just guessing. Yeah? Yes? Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Is there a light here? No. Ah! I'm scared. Is there a candle on the wall up there? I can't tell. Oh, oh, he died when he came into the light. That was awesome. This way? Oh God, guys. I'm doing so good. Huh. 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 Freaking out. Turn this thing on. How do I work this thing? Is this it? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This won't go on. I think our objective was to turn all the lights on first. Um, but I missed some, I guess, so... I guess maybe I can't until all the lights are on? But then the lights keep going off. Move it, chair! And this guy's just sitting here. There's no way I can't lure him out. <sighs> Our next game is called Bewilder House. All I know is that there's oh, a picture look of a everybody here. Here's the new grown-up we found yesterday. He's so tall. Good luck, Mr. Grown-up. <laughs> He's waking up. Go tell the others. That was so sketchy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at the graphics. I mean, not like awesome, but like they're they're pretty good for a free game. All right, uh, so anyway, like I was saying, all I know about this one is that there was a clown on the cover and I hate clowns, so it's gotta be freaky. You should take the map. All right, what is that? That's a map? Oh, it's like a fun house. Can you get to the room marked on your map? The room marked on my map? What room? When you think you've gotten there, press the button and see what happens. Press M when I'm there. So there's... You think you've gotten okay, there, yellow balloon in front of me, right on the... Blue on the what right. Happens. Whatever that is on the left. So uh, this must be it. Press M. That was simple enough. Is that the whole game? new map. Eh, I'm stuck. Okay. Watch out, the maze will try to get you lost. So remember, only trust attention. what is Watch on your map. And you will be victorious. Okay. Are there gonna be clowns that pop out at me? Because I'm not ready for that. Okay, so I need to get to the green circle. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, I don't know what the smiley face and the frowny face is for. Smiley face. So, okay. There's a smiley face there. So go down this way two times and then- no, three times. So down, 
I can't go down anymore. I... I'm confused! Come on. So close. Now what's this? Sad face. I am right. No, I'm not. I went down to... Over one. I'm confused. Ooh, and stuck. This game makes me sick. Okay, so... If it's facing, which way is it facing? How do you know which way it's facing? Where am I? This game is making me sick. I'm going to throw up. Over. Down. M? <sighs> What's this one? Smiley face. Down. Two. But none of them have down twos. Down. And then maybe the room will change? Nope, the room's not changing. Come on, third time. Okay, now I don't have any rooms to go in. Okay, this game is literally making me motion sick. Next game! This game is called Life After Us, The System. Alright, so, WASD to move, E to use. Okay. Ooh, this runs awesome. My FPS right now is at 120. It's never been that high, so that's awesome. Okay, play. Oh, E to use. I've been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of Mrs. Hemington. I have been told the girl is in her late 20s, but due to her mental illness, she has the mind of a child. She is believed to have returned to Hawthorne Sanitarium, where she was once a patient. I will search the asylum for the girl and- okay. You didn't give me enough time. This looks so good. Uh, okay, can't go in there apparently. So what, I'm searching the sanitarium for a girl? I made a new friend today, Dr. Tar. He says I'm very pretty. He kept touching my hair. He must really like it. Okay, sounds like a pedophile. You, Dr. Tar. You trying to touch my hair? You ain't doing it. Hmm. Looks like I can't really move anything or open anything. So I will just be picking up stuff that's lying around. And the doors are already open for me, so I don't gotta do much. Ooh, there's blood going into this one, and I can't open any doors! Huh? What's going on with that floor, though? Okay, this way, then. This place is disgusting. What does that say? Mr. Teddy should be here? I don't like it here. A mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. She said I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy. He's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. Okay, well, if I find a teddy bear... Journal entry. Find Mr. Teddy. Alright, I'll do it. Just give me a minute. And she wrote it in blood. That sounds nice. She must be a normal girl. Hey! Found you! Dr. Tar told me to meet him in his office and said not to tell anyone. He put his hands on me, and he touched me and smiled. I didn't like where he was touching me, but he said it was part of an examination to make me feel better. No, that's not trying to make you feel better, that's trying to make him feel better. That is just sick. 
Okay. I black out, and upon wakening, I find myself still in the asylum, but something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me, and I feel as if I'm not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. Ooh. And I thought this was a nice game. Dr. Tar told me I'm very pretty and that I'm not a girl. He said little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm a woman. This is getting messed up. I'm scared. <gasps> what the heck is that? Make me pretty. He wants me to be pretty? He gets mad if I'm not pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh. Dr. Tar came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty. Then he got in bed and on top of me. He kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. He got mad when I shouted in pain and he hit me. He visits me every night now. This is becoming scandalous. Let's try this way again. Closed. Ooh, this is creepy. Like, look, I only have like a circle. That's it. That's all I can see with. What? Did you just see that? Did you just freaking see that? He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He says my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. I wish I could go home. He's like... Doing it. You know what I mean. I'm scared. I told the doctor I keep getting sick in the mornings. He got so mad when I told him that. He hit me in my belly. She's pregnant. How old is this girl? I was not expecting this game to be so deep. What is that? <laughs> gone? I forgot I could run. I was just like walking around. Oh my gosh. It's gone. What the heck was that? What do I do with this head? You have no idea. Oh, head for the mannequin. Huh? Ew. What the heck? Whoa! Is this necessary? What? Once more I awaken in this place, and that can only be hell on earth. There is something holding me here. It will not let me leave, and something much worse is looking for me. I must find the girl and escape this hell. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. This game is freaking nuts. I am so scared right now. This man, this ghostly doctor, wants to impregnate me. He wants to rape me and touch my hair. Is this a piece of string in front of the door? Is that just me? Yeah, it was just me. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I thought there was something there. Okay. Um. This way? Is it open yet? No. I would get the heck out of here. Like, why? Why are we even here? Is there anything around? No. Just searching for the girl. What? 
He took my baby. He burns? Ew. I don't want to take this baby, though. Okay, then. I got a baby. <laughs> I got away. Alright, where do I put it, though? Give it to the woman? Nope. Gotta bring it somewhere, I'm sure, but where? Uh, excuse me? Is anybody looking for a baby? My baby was crying when Dr. Tar put him in the box, but the crying soon stopped when he set him on fire. I hate Dr. Tar. I hate him. Me too. Me too. But I got this, like, bloody baby in my hands. Oh, there's a note there. Dr. Tar stopped coming to visit me at night once he took my baby. He took him. He said I can't have it because it was a mistake. He took my baby boy and put him in a box. I could hear my baby scream as he set fire to him. I want my baby. Take it. Take the baby. I don't freaking want it. I think I'm running in circles. Oh. Figured it out. Okay, sorry. I now understand the horror this young girl went through while she was here, such pain and suffering, to have been raped by such a monster, and to have her child taken only to be burned alive. Why would she come back? I must find her, if we are to escape. Why do you want to escape with this obviously dead-ass girl living in an asylum? Like, why do you care so much? That's my question. I'd be getting the heck out of here, waking up, falling asleep, passing out, waking up. I keep screaming what he did to me and my baby, but no one cares. He wants to shut me up. You know what I'm thinking? This girl is in an insane asylum. Maybe none of this actually happened. Maybe she never even had a baby. Maybe she killed her own baby. What do you guys think about that one, huh? <laughs> Heck no. You gone? <laughs> oh my god! Is he throwing up? Go! Run! <laughs> He told me my grandmother died today. He said she fell down the stairs and broke her neck. He said it with a smile. I know he did it. He said no one will ever come for me now. He said he's going to lock me away in the dark room where I'll be in where where I'll be no trouble for him ever again. As soon as I press this button, he's going to be on my ass. I don't know where to go. He's gone. Why is he gone? Oh, he's not gone. <laughs> My freaking character is stuck. Is he throwing up on me? I found you. Where'd you go? Seriously? Um, what? Seriously? <laughs> okay, well, we just played a few games. Um, that last one was awesome. That was so freaking good. Um, I can't believe it just ended like that, though. Maybe I was supposed to do something else? Have any of you guys ever played that game? Because if I was supposed to do something else, you let me know and maybe I'll try again. Um, but that was pretty fun. <laughs> If you want to see another video like this where I play free games, let me know. And if you have any games that you want me to try, leave the link in the comments below also, and maybe I'll try it in my next video. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!
Kitty, please stop.